Good evening, and welcome to Penn State Sports Night. I'm Christian Kurapakis. Penn State's explosive first quarter set the tone for the rest of the contest as the Indy Lions finished off Indiana 45-14 to remain undefeated. They'll hit the road and take on Northwestern next week, where they'll look to extend their record to 6-0. For Penn State Sports Night, I'm Christian Kurapakis. The passion now is being represented in a different way. You see the Puerto Ricans, they, what are they, bleaching their hair? The Dominican Republics are mobbing the field in the seventh inning. They have that fire. The United States has some of that quiet confidence that's really doing them well so far, and it's kind of thrown them into the semifinals. Now, just mentioned the semifinals. <laughs> Face a tough team, Japan. Japan. The Penn State women's basketball team earned its second straight victory of their season opening weekend thanks to an 84-70 win over Drexel on Sunday afternoon. Sophomore Jada Travascio green led the team with a career-high 31 points thanks to a career-high 7 three-pointers. That total also marked the 69th 30-point game in program history as she helped her squad kick off their season 2-0. Up next, Lady Lions will travel to West Virginia on Wednesday to take on Marshall at 6 p.m. In terms of the clubhouse, the 2018 Yankees should be similar to last year's team. A young, fun, professional group of ballplayers mixed with some seasoned vets that can help take leadership role if need be. Again, no toll order for Boone to handle. So the Houston Astros by a long shot have the edge, but the Dodgers aren't, I don't want to call them scrubs, the Dodgers are in the World Series. You got guys like Chris Taylor, Justin Turner, Yasiel Puig, guys who have backed up the rotation, carried them to where they are now. But when you compare them to the Houston Astros, I don't think they compare. If you're valuable to your team and you are clearly the most valuable player, you should be the MVP. And I just look at Mike Trout's numbers and say, there's no one as, as valuable as him. Some really good names on that list. Strap in, Yankees fans. Trade talks between the Yankees and Marlins for reigning National League MVP Giancarlo Stanton are heating up. Late Friday night, Ken Rosenthal of The Athletic reported that the Yankees are in play for the slugging outfielder. While a deal is far from imminent, the Bronx is a destination Stanton would waive his no-trade clause for, and his presence in a lineup that already features the mighty Aaron Judge, Gary Sanchez, and Greg Bird would make the 2018 Yankees lineup a nightmare to deal with. I'm glad you mentioned the Red Sox because the Red Sox made a move too. Yeah. But if you're talking the big, big one, if you're talking the biggest off-season move in general, I'm going with Chris Sale to Boston because a of the pitcher the Red Sox got, they got a guy who's gonna, probably going to be in front of the reigning AL Cy Young Award winner in Rick Porcello, joining David Price, who won the award in 2012. So that rotation is solidly set. And they lost David Ortiz, so that's a big offensive hole that they had to fill. They filled it with pitching, which you can never have too much yeah. pitching. Guys, we'll start in the National League, and Josh, we'll start with you. Dodgers Diamondback Series, Yasuo Puig seems to be taking that series over. I mean, a little flashy form, give me a little insight on that. Yeah. No doubt in my mind, and I have to agree with you, James White deserved it. When you look back at the highlights of the Super Bowl, White's everywhere. Every play, it's dunk to White or pass up the middle to White, handoff to White for the touchdown. He set the Super Bowl record for total points scored, and he didn't win the MVP. I understand Tom Brady's the GOAT. I understand Tom Brady is special, but White had an incredible game. Official White Out game. Let's go. And we are so excited Let's go. here in the studio. The Nittany Lions are hosting the Michigan Wolverines at home and kickoff is set for 7.30 p.m. on ABC. The Penn State women's soccer team took down the Michigan State Spartans on Sunday by a score of 4 to nothing. Megan Schaefer scored the first two goals and was joined by Elizabeth Ball and Haley Eichardt, who scored one goal each. Overall, the Nittany Lions tallied 18 shots on net en route to their 17th multi-goal match of the season. They'll look to build on their 9-3-1 record on Thursday when they hit the road to play Rutgers.